Hey again everyone, welcome back to Measure and Mix, possibly for your second time today. This is my second challenge that I am participating in today. If you missed the first one, I will link that up above just in case you want to check it out. For this challenge, it's being hosted by the Crafty Kitty, and there will be a playlist for this challenge, so I will link her channel and the playlist down below so you can check that out after you are done here. For this challenge, it is actually a three-part challenge, the first part being today, the next part being next week, and the third part being the week after. So the first part of this challenge is to DIY or revamp a piece of Halloween decor. So I am going to be doing a witch's bubbling cauldron, so I hope you stick around to find out how it turns out. Okay, to start off making my bubbles, I am going to use these two bath mats that I got from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to use this acrylic paint to paint them in to make them bright green. And then this is optional. I am just going to spray paint them after they are dry with this glow in the dark green spray paint I got off of Amazon. Okay, so here is the cauldron I'm gonna be using. I just purchased this a long time ago from probably one of the Halloween stores around. Um, they do have cauldrons at Dollar Tree, um, kind of similar to this. They, they are a little bit shorter and have a handle on them, but they would work also. Uh, and then I'm gonna have witch's feet sticking out of the cauldron, so I just got these from Dollar Tree. And they are stakes that you um, stick in the ground. I cut the um, pointy parts off because I wanted them to be just a little bit shorter so I used my saw and just cut them down a little bit um, so that way they wouldn't stick out too far inside my cauldron. So now what I'm going to do is I have some floral foam from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to take a couple blocks and stick them on each side of the cauldron, hot glue them down and then stick my witch's legs in there. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is use some newspaper um, and some plastic bags, because I don't have probably enough of either of them, to fill the cauldron up and that will help stabilize the legs so they won't be wobbling back and forth. Okay, so I wanna make sure that the newspaper doesn't show through the mat. So I'm gonna use this orange duct tape that I got from Dollar Tree. And then that way, if it does show through, it'll just show um, some orange color. So I'm just gonna take the duct tape and put strips along here just to cover the newspaper up. All right, so my mats are all painted. Um, one quick little note is that I would use spray paint instead of acrylic paint if I was doing this again. Um, it would go a lot quicker and it would cover a lot better. So um, just a little note if you guys wanna try this, use spray paint, not acrylic paint. Um, so now all I'm gonna do is take each mat and I'm just going to drape one on the front and one on the back and I'm just gonna start tucking them in I'm not gonna glue them or anything I'm just going to tuck them in as I go and kind of make them um, come up a little bit like bubbles would do not make it super perfect kind of drape some off to the side and uh, that's it
Alright guys, I really love how this Witch's Cauldron came out. It's super cute. I can't wait to decorate for Halloween. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Also, I have one more video coming out today. And if you don't want to miss that or any future videos, then hit that notification bell. And that's it. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.